Yeah, I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, Teo put up a uh, knifing video where he just kind of ran around as a soldier, knifing the crap out of everybody on pub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I've yeah. been unfortunately banished to see that. You got to show me that later. It sounds like a laugh. Yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. There's some of my favorite moments is when he's chasing down somebody that's going for um, the courier objective on terminal, yeah. and uh, he's really chasing him from afar. And when he finally catches up to them, you know they they're trying to basically get behind cover, and you know get get the drop on him. He throws a grenade through the doorway and then shoots it in order to get a knockdown and then just walks up and finishes him off. It's really nice. <laughs> really nicely done. We can talk a little bit about the the patch that hit for the oh, PC. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I gotta say, I feel like they went in the wrong direction. I understand why there's why they're focusing on things like you know, wh wh why they're introducing spread even for like the first shot. It's basically to make the game a lot more um... User friendly, I suppose. Noob friendly, yeah. yeah. So, so you don't have like you know someone coming out of the server and just absolutely destroying, you know, five people. Like I, you know, I understand that, but I, my response has always been, grow a pair. You know, it's like yeah. Um, I, I think one thing uh, Splash Damage have already done with the game is they have made it quite hard to um, pick up straight out of the box. So then again, they probably went in that direction to try and help that problem but I do agree they have gone in the wrong direction here they um, they've missed a couple of tricks here that could have really helped the game from our perspective but yeah obviously they're the guys that are making the money you know we're they're, they're the ones that have the decisions that can make and break them so I guess there's some uh, logic behind it well, hopefully well maybe I mean the, the problem is I mean it, I wouldn't be saying much and perhaps they would feel, you know, vindicated. But I mean, if you take a look, uh, one person plus you on my friends list is playing a brink right now. <laughs> I, I do understand both sides. I understand the side from the competitive community. They want to be able to, you know, where you aim is where you hit. Yeah, where, where you and want the center of your screen to now, be, you know, on the head. And that's where the bullet goes as well. But. Right. Now, the other thing I've noticed is that it's not like the competitive community is saying every single bullet has to be exactly where my crosshair is. I think most people are okay with kind of going with the times and saying, all right, some introduction of spread makes sense. You know, you, uh, there, there should be some penalty for holding down the fire button when you're trying to deal with, you know, multiple weapons and have different characteristics and all that kind of stuff. You know, we've gone from the day of, you know, Quake games where you've got a machine gun, a shotgun, a rocket launcher, yeah. a lightning gun, a, a rail gun, a plasma gun, you know. So, yeah. where the, the different ammo types in the different weapon behaviors, you know, were, like they were so different that you wanted your crosshair to hit exactly where it's supposed to hit. You know, I, I understand now we're, we're trying to deal with all assault rifles and all that kind of stuff. What I think should happen is, and this is pretty similar to, I think, I think this is right with original ET, but it was basically like the first three bullets out of your gun hit where your crosshair was. And anything after that, if you held down the button, then okay, then you were penalized and uh, spread really start, like started to kick in, you know, and and but that makes perfect sense to me because you're still rewarding the smart aimer, you're still rewarding the burst firer, you're still rewarding the person that has the skill to put his cross crosshair exactly where it should be, uh, and sadly, what's missing from this game is you can literally line up even a sniper round, be exactly on the head, and you fire and you miss because the game has decided to introduce the, the spread variable to be too wide in order to give you a hit. Yeah, and I think it's just, it's I, I mean, I, I, I feel like exclaiming like Chen at the end of the fucking resort map, what were you thinking? <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. you know, that um, just doesn't make damage sense. have gone down a route which was to me, actually, quite scary to think that they thought that that was a good idea. They've kind of definitely gone down that, all right, we're going to make a game and it's going to be all about the team play experience. Even though that's a good idea and in an ideal world, you know, that would be a good game. Everyone would get along and, you know, work together as a team to have a good gaming experience. But in the real world, it doesn't quite work like that. People play shooting games from a public perspective. People play shooting games for that fragging experience. The, the problem 
here with break is that there's no reward to being good yeah, at um, shooting. Splash damage have kind of tried to make the reward winning the game, and then by winning the game, you. Um, but but there uh, but therein lies the problem because you don't have people you know able to complete the objectives even on pubs. I can understand in stopwatch that needs tweaking. That's fine. That, that'd be one thing if you had games you know uh, unusually close on a regular basis on pubs, but you just don't. You have, like, I don't know if uh, you saw, like, the stats for, of course, we can't get them for the PC, but, like, for the Xbox, and you had, uh, I think it was something like maybe 20% win on things like Security Tower and, uh, and what was... Uh, but let, let's, let's talk about, about our little philosophical discussion, because we need to talk about the teams a little bit here. We, we had SCS versus BWB, I don't even remember, let's see, that's Burn Witch Burn, right? Burn Witch Burn, yes. Yeah. We have, uh, I've had a Good chance to play both of the games, both of the teams, multiple times, and had a good chance to get to know the SGS guys. So absolutely lovely. I have to shout out to them. Samurai, especially, such a nice guy, so helpful. Groovy. Great guy to mix with. But um, but much burn, yeah. But both both very good teams. Both uh, have the advantages. Um, I have to say, ATI definitely the player to watch in this game. If I was gonna come out here and say early, but it could go either way. I have to say. Okay. Well, I, um, yeah, okay, I think SGS are the better team here. I, I think they have the fragging ability and they have that ET experience, which is definitely shining through, especially through ATI. But again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably have to probably be saying this so many times, but he's such a decent player. Um, well, that's okay. It's, let, let me, let me get a towel uh, and maybe a pillow for your knees a little bit. No, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay to be impressed with the player. Just you know, be be, um, be prepared to, to take some shit for it. It's okay. Yeah, but <laughs> but with Burmish Burn, I can't say I know their background. I don't know where they've come from exactly. But um, yeah, they they still uh, very they show good teamwork and fragging ability. We we'll have to see where it goes. Um, I have getting the ready up from Apoc saying they are ready, and the other team has said they're ready. So I'm. I'm letting you know that I'm ready because, you know, I don't ever want to be the cause of a delay. I I think that we've been the cause of delay for like one game, and that's because I had like a hardware failure. I did. Or something. I did say to make sure because I wasn't sure if we were minimized or not. But yeah, you did message me saying they're ready. So it looks like we are going to go live here on um, a resort. A Indeed. Very very good map. I have to say, it's quite balanced for what you thought would be quite a defense-heavy map, from what I've seen. Uh, it's it's getting there. I mean, I I have still seen games totally held at the at the plan objective, but yeah, I've seen yeah. We say it for all the maps recently. All the maps have the potential to be um quite he defense orientated and full held. You know, common occurrence. You have to kind of look at it as as common as maybe another map. Oh, and can I just say how much I love that I don't get blinded by flashbangs anymore? Thank you, Splash oh, Damage. Oh, yes. Thanks, Splash Damage. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I can have the towel and um, pillow, please, now. That was <laughs> Also, now, yeah, also I'm uh, not sure if you've um, managed to uh, see, but um, Grenade Sticky's actually hit spectators as well. He also did fix that. Yes. Now, I, I am watching this. So we've got a hack on the shop tour. I'm watching Samurai try to pretty much hold down, along with Ryo, the fashionista entrance. It looks like they're pushing out in order to get an angle on that hack uh, objective, and they have done it. Uh, the hack box is only about 20% planted. Um, Ryo is also retaking the command post, and, and this is actually, you know, command posts are in play for the ESL rules. We saw this last week. Um, so those command post buffs do matter, and uh, I would... They do matter, and if you're defending... Um, if if say the command post is an advantage for another team, if you can manage to push out and take that command post from the team with advantage towards that command post, and that can be a great advantage for your team, if that made sense. <laughs> yes. We got Mad Shooter coming in, and he's able to take down Rio, but the question is can he get around the corner here? We got some crossfire set up by uh, ATI from across the way in the good or GUUD, wherever the fuck that. The green store, how about that? I, it, I, it, I think we, we call it green. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll call, green, call it the green room. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, Mad Shooter is uh, being smart and waiting for somebody to join him on his team. And it looks like the spawn wave came too late. He's been put down, and Rio setting up a mine here. Uh, it looks like everyone, though, from uh, Burn, which Burn, I'm just going to call them Burn, uh, looks like they're. Well, they were going a uh, hack route, but then coming up at green. So ATI is sitting there and uh, picking up two frags, no problem. Yeah, ATI playing the aggressive in green, which is catching um, Burn, which Burn off guard. You have to be careful to move out slowly if the defending team does want to push out and try and hold you in your spawn. You have to be aware of that. It's not yeah. easy, but yeah. you have to be aware. 
So actually, we never talked about class loadout. Let me do that in this lull of the respawn wave. We've got on security, who's on defense here. Uh, three medics. Um, Zernok, Apoc, and Samurai. ATI and Rio are engineers. So they're tossing out the weapon buffs and all that good stuff. We got a hack on the shop door. ATI front ship is down. They took down uh, Kenex on burn. And uh, let's go ahead and run the burn roster. Uh, if you will, please, Jeff. Um, it looks like we have Boo Leader not joining the tag there, unfortunately. Phoenix, Xeon, Gads, and Mad Shooter. Uh, looks like Gads and Mad Shooter are going to dome two soldiers, trying to go to that double um, plant, make sure that you know, eight SGS don't get that uh, gib on the one soldier. And well, that, and, and I would say, uh, with this objective, grenades are really handy, and they're just not being used. Uh, let's actually switch over to those soldiers if we can. And let's see um, if find them. Yeah, one thing I have seen is lack gloves are used of flash, flash grenades. They can be so powerful, especially in large open areas, say when you do end up pushing out underneath that helicopter. If you can get a well placed flash, you can flash about four people easily. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to try to watch these soldiers for just a minute to see. Oh, look at this. Uh, Xeon coming through and getting quite a few kills. He's finally put down, though, able to respawn instantly, so it's a good time to push in for him. Um, because he's right back up, right back in the three. What kind of support does he have, though? Mm. Right. Looks like we need a, There's a uh, flashbang. I, I don't know how effective it was. He tosses a Molotov and gets... Ooh, ATI with a beautiful crossfire, though. Takes out Xeon. Very nice. Looks like we need it is playing with that sniper. In this map, I would say it has its advantages, especially in the second stage. In the first stage, not so well, but let's look for it. He is getting the frag on ATI, which is very, as a, very, very good for the people and burn which burn. But again, he's just not going to be that useful in the pushes. It's what you need to get on the side. Yeah, Gads is still focusing on that shop door. We got a respawn of three. Right now, we're just seeing a lot of just sort of rushing. And uh, while some damage is getting done, it's just not effective enough. No, Burnwich Burn needs to take full use of those nades and flashes, keeping their distance, using that cover, and just generally stopping SGS being in their face constantly. One of the things you have to be aware of in this map is how easy it is to push, but then again, how easy it is to punish if you get those three frags on the defending team. You know, if, if you get, um, if you hmm. catch two people in green room and you clear three other people, you know, you could just run straight round through what we like to call fashion, straight onto site, get that plant, and just lock them in far. Yeah, and you know, I, I'm a little bit dismayed with it. Looks like we got, you know, Two guys constantly going top route. We got Kenix trying to toss nades around, but the problem I have is that they're not doing anything about the crossfire from ATI. I mean, he's just picking up. He no. killed, you know, he killed Kenix. Uh, no problem it at is, all. I have to do say, um, I do feel Ben Richard Ben um, Ben's uh, pain here because it is so hard to um, face from both places. Because you're coming out, and then as soon as you could be seen. You've got two people facing you, and it is now, hard, but again, this is where the nades come into the Gads ring. Gads is in. He's making just a, a beeline for it. He's, he's been spotted, though. Looks like he's going to get the plant down, though. Maybe, maybe. Is he? No, no. He's no. Oh, so close. Yeah, but, but I mean, how are they going to defend that, though? It doesn't matter if you get the plant. It's going to be disarmed oh. immediately because everything was, you know. Now, exactly. now, now, the important thing was he did make a push I, I thought was sort of the right idea, where he, he pushed up on, on the back side of green. He was able to take down APOC. Um, and, and, and push up there, but you know, you, you have to then hold that position and say, Team, get your asses over here. This is what we're going to be, you know, using for our entrance. This is our well, window. This, this is where the teamwork and communication aspect comes in. If you're on site, you need to let your team know. You need to let your team know where that they can flank from, where they're holding. Again, you know, if, if you're constantly calling, all right, ATI is always in this place. We need to make sure we flash or nade him, use the Molotovs, exactly. push him back. And that's where communication can be the difference between, you know, getting on site or being held in base. Yeah, and very nice medic work here. We got uh, APOC getting a revive on ATI. And I think it's going to be pretty good timing. He's able to reset his mind and go back out, get his crossfire position. And uh, he's pretty much set. Yep, just in time. You can see the names flashing by for the respawn wave. So uh, he's going to have to watch his six for uh, one guy pushing in. It looks like it's uh, Xenon. And Gads. Gads taking the same route. He comes up, does not check his sick, hits the mine, and down he goes. ATI gets the kill, easy. Looks like they've got about two thirds of the door there, so um, uh, about seven minutes in, it's not ideal. You kind of want that down. If you're going to use that for a route, you want that down within about the first five minutes to really kind of get the best use out of that. But um, again, you know, as soon as they get their door down, it's another route that SGS have to hold, and they probably won't be able to play this aggressive forward defense. 
Nice play by Zernok. He's able to rush in and get a kill on Kenix. Xena, Xeon picks it up again, though. Can he get the uh, operative back? I mean, it's good to see that they are focusing on one thing, but they need to uh, really stop those crossfires. Uh, again, we're seeing APOC, you know, continually pressing... Um, excuse me, uh, ga Gads, excuse me, yeah. continually pressing oh. the, the green, but... Um, it's, he needs some support there. I, I, I think, yeah. really, a little bit of support and they'll have it. Well, it looks like um, by much burn here, we're just focusing on the door. They're trying to do the bare minimum to make sure that door oh. gets chipped our way out. God, and the medic costume revive and the covert ops just taps. That's sad. I mean, these guys should be on vent and everything. Or a team freak or something. <laughs> nice nades. Nice nades, fam. I like that. Yeah, but, I mean, it's, it's so strong. If you just get three nades in one place, if you get caught by at least one of those nades, you're gonna get caught by the other two, and that's probably you down, unless you're got Kevlar, fully health buffed, and everything. You're gonna be lucky not to get downed by you know three nades coming into your direction. And again, with the grenade shooting, oh. it's just no excuse these days. At least the door's open. Oh, the door is open. Oh, it looks like Bermich Bono straight in there as well. The mm. up is holding that down, but no, Keenix is gonna get onto site via Samurai there to um, reply. Samurai getting one. Yeah, nice job, Samurai, and there's ATI from behind. Great yeah. work to, to flank that and, and keep yeah. it shut. Again, uh, great communication there by SGS. Yes. Yeah. And so that's that actually... Uh, is quite, it's quite small, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, now, uh, this might cause them to push back into the... You know, collapse on the objective. I'm not quite sure if... Uh, let's see if they push out again. I'm watching Rio and... Uh, well, um, it may mean they have to, they, not necessarily means they have to fall back per se, but it's, it's, it's almost I'm not saying it's impossible to hold a full position on the map. Um, again, this is quite defense heavy. If you just have um, people in green being aware that people can sneak by underneath and get straight up that um, escalator through those bench market, mm -hmm. um, you know, you see how they go. Oh, looks like they have one drop actually, unfortunately. Oops. Oh, burn, which burn. That's not too good. Hopefully, he'll be right um, back. Yeah, I hope uh, Splash Damage haven't implemented any kind of pause feature, so it doesn't look like we're going to see any disruptions, but it does mean that the... Oh, you don't need straight back anyway. That's great. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to keep my eye on ATI here. It looks like, yeah, they are collapsing, or at least routing through the, the main objective quite a bit more, um, trying to keep tabs on who's going underneath from the shop door down below ATI yeah, is currently covering site, but yeah samurai so there straight away ready to get him down again just looking at um krill here that's what we like to call it but it's got a little krill sign up here this can be quite a devastating entrance for attacking and defending you have to be aware because both teams can slip through right past um right past all the defense in fashion and bar and uh get straight onto site which we're sure gads just do that indeed Samurai is still trying to hold down fast and the Gads goes down. And again, cool. really, really solid crossfires. Nice revive on APOC. So we're going to see pretty much a full respawn. Yeah, that is a full respawn of Burn Witch Burn. And they're going to. This is high. where they need to start realizing they're all together now. They need to stay together. That this is where, you know, these are the spawns that matter. Yeah, and instead I'm seeing two low, three low maybe. Kenix is kind of late. Nice initial it nade. It gives Gads a chance to get behind cover. I like that. Apoc, Good nade there. Them all. Getting the oh my god, though. yeah. Jeez, I, I did not see that. That was very nice. Yeah, Epoch was there playing in the aggressive bar position. Oh, Canix goes down again. Oh. I'm disconnected. Some internet problems there, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, as I said, Apoch was playing the full position in bar. I managed to spot the three burn with burn players going between, underneath there and managed to cool it, which um, obviously helped ATI and um, get in there behind for that, you know, that 180 degree crossfire. All right, Kenix is back in. We're going to watch uh, Samurai continue to hold down Fashionista quite well. ATI dropping in on Mad Shooter from the shop entrance. Getting a bit Quick of in there, but why not, I suppose? Looks like it's going to be a four spawn here with, um, no, all five, sorry, actually. Mm -hmm. We need to actually um, putting down the sniper, realizing that maybe he does need to be a part of the pushes now, so, um,. Well done there for making that decision. I think that's the right one there. Yeah. We got uh, through this mad shooter getting a little bit of assistance from boot leader, but I do believe that with the height advantage APOC has. Oh, he does go down. Ooh, look at this. 
Ah, uh, and Samurai drops in from Fashion. So fantastic work there. Cleans up everything. And here come the revives and get everyone set again. So, yeah, really, really well played by SGS. SGS are showing good, um, good communication, good form. And uh, they definitely know how to... Um, they definitely know push timings as well. They're definitely, the Samurai and ATI are great with getting behind Burn Witch Burn. On Burn Witch Burn's pushes. Definitely something that we have a problem with on Resort. Maybe we're going to have to, you know, try and figure that one out sometime soon. But yeah, showing great teamwork there. Kenix again, third time dropping. Looks like we're going to have to try and sort that out for the second half. If Burn Witch Burn expects any chance of coming back from this. Yeah, that's, that's really frustrating, you know, to... To yeah, already be help. climbing a, a really steep hill, uh, just in terms of uh, playing a team that's a little bit better than you, and then also to to run into the whole point of yeah. well, every two or three minutes I'm getting booted. I mean that's. I wonder if this is a, a unique issue for him, or if it's something more. Uh, well, it's something I have I have seen a lot on on any on majority of servers. I think it's down to some kind of um, lack of communication between your computer and the Steam. You know, server authentication server. Not 100 percent sure on if that's true or not, but it would make sense. Yeah. I've heard they fixed that issue in the recent patch. So again, who knows? What 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 they did fix was um, sometimes if clients were basically disconnected from Steam for more than 30 seconds, then yeah. um, then the servers themselves would actually and the clients would disconnect. In other words. Your, your ability to play on, online would get reset, which is kind of oh, retarded. Okay. Um, oh. and, and instead, it, at the very least, it basically keeps your authentication proper. So. Oh, so, so it stops this issue which we're looking for. Well, it stops the, probably one of the issues that stops drops. But yeah, and again, look, it's like Kenix is having huge problems here with staying on the server. Yeah. In fact, he's not, not even back in yet. Yeah, I think he's probably having a quick restart of Steam just to. I think, mean, which probably tells me Burn, which Burn, you know, sealed their own fate here, realizing that it's probably not going to happen. Five yeah, minutes. Yeah, I, I, I love to see get a plant down at least, though. Get that progress in. Of course, yeah, but um, looking at where the bodies are falling, you know, they're not even getting into pre fashion or green. Yeah. All right, so let's let's do a little bit of a spotlight. We've been focusing a lot on SGS. I'm gonna switch over to Brenwish Burn and see if we can watch from their perspective just a little bit. Oh, again, Mashid has switched back to the sniper. Oh no, no, Boo Leader, sorry, my bad. And um, switched back to the sniper to try and support his team with the pushes, realizing they're not necessarily getting in. Maybe he'll be better getting those tags, those picks that can help them. Well, you know, his, his job should be trying to kill ATI, but as you can see, yeah. even with a pistol, and which is actually a really nice choice, by the way, uh, for ATI to switch up and go with the uh, the pistol for the, the finisher. Yeah, um, some of the pistols in this game can be just as strong as the weapons used in the right you know situation, right angles, right distances. The revolver is absolutely a beast of a weapon. It three hits, I think, majority mm. of the time if you're against someone with full buffs, and you're full buffed yourself. Uh, you know, I think it's two in the head as well, so if you have that aim, you can really help your team from long distance, even with an SMG. Indeed. Your weapon. It looks like Mad Shooter's not going to be able to make it through. We've got uh, Boo Leader that's coming up behind him and getting a close range sniper kill on Rio. Let's see if he can get into fashion. Stick to cover. Because, yeah, we got the respawn wave coming in actually from uh, behind. We got Samurai got the word that he was uh, going to be getting a little bit of a. Uh, Doorbell knockage, and uh, he just pretty much cleared up and cleaned up fashion. He's, uh, he's the only guy here, though, so uh, there's no crossfire set for ATI. So actually, we're seeing uh, ooh, where ATI. We're seeing ATI everyone is. Falling, SGS, SGS falling back here, realizing yeah. that they haven't secured the forward position. So let's not take it. You know, not getting too right. lucky, understanding the situation. The ATI they're falling back after a push. Yeah, really nice. Great communication there, Apox still at the front, ATI comes back to help his teammate. And it's just looks like SGS are just um, playing dictatorly well, proving why they're considered, you know, uh, uh, just to kind of not make anyone unhappy first or second in the UK. <laughs> and, uh, I'd have to say, who, have to say they're top two. What's that? 
I'd happily say they're definitely top two UK at the moment. And, and, and in Europe, definitely top five. Yeah, and, and who would the other UK top two be? I would have to say Veritas are looking extremely okay. strong. They've been practicing a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I've yeah. seen, I've seen Veritas from like even back in like Quake, they were, they were solid. So, I, I'm not Again, surprised at all. Great guys, have to shout out to them. Absolutely fantastic guys to mix with play with. Um, yeah, I wish them well in obviously in the tournament, and I think, you know, they can go, they can go far. Same with SGS actually. I think they both have a chance to go far here. But it's just obviously, you know, these, these are the matches you have to get through, and you have to um, keep your level head. Indeed. So now it looks like Apox actually taking over ATI's um, green room position. So ATI has full. Well, he's spawning now, but I think he's probably playing uh, escalators, edge market area. But actually, look, Zeon and Gads taking advantage of the ATI not being there, getting on the side. But it looks like SGS just managed to spawn in time to shut them down. Gads again on the floor, not necessarily gibbed, but I think SGS are confident enough that he's not getting up anytime soon. Yeah. Oh no, so I'm not come back just to make sure. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, and I, I'm looking at, you know, the, the spawn waves are so disjointed. I'm Like, here's Kanex coming in, but he's about to run into... ATI there, just holding just, the angle. Oh my again. god, yeah, Crossfire 3, he's dead. That's I'll be just... kind of aware of where your team is at all the time, you can't do things like that. But again, you know, if, 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 if they have kind of realized that maybe, you know, they're not going to get it, like, one minute, 15 seconds now, but... We can get them that. That's sure. a bit frustrated. We got a pair coming up from escalators and right into ATI's assault rifle down he goes. Or actually, I should say Carb 9. Either <laughs> he's way. taking out his teammate there in the process. Yeah. Whoops. Anyone gets in his way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just a killing machine, man. Just a killing machine. So, 50 seconds left. We're going to wrap this one up and we're going to see the. Uh, Fortunes switch side as SGS will now be attacking and they will be going up against whatever defense Burn Witch Burn can uh, Interesting to see how Burn Witch Burn play this. I have a feeling that um, Booleed and probably play that snipe in the Crow's position, which, I, which some people do. And um, only a few people have managed to pull it off. But again, you know, you can see how I go. Looks like Zeon's disconnected there. No message along with that disconnect so I have to guess that's some kind of user side he chose to disconnect from the server maybe just restarting his internet and hey, maybe, maybe we won't have the other half I don't know <laughs> well let's hope eh you know let's hope that um, emotions aren't running too high in uh, voice communication so hmm. already holding full holding against well done, burn yeah. on resort first half they are gonna Secure that um, zero points for Burn Witch Burn Booty. They're actually saying GG. I'm not sure if that's a, a mistake or they actually are just leaving it as that. Yeah, it should be good half, but we'll see. Uh, 20 minute time to beat if we do continue. We've got best overall boo leader, best soldier gads, uh, medic, samurai, engineer, ATI operative, mad shooter, and kills APOC. Okay, like APOC has taken the. Um Top frags there again. I, you know, I was rooting for ATI, but can't <laughs> say really because they were all playing for a position. You know, people getting frags that maybe you know they don't necessarily would get if they were playing against like, the team of equal caliber. Yeah, I'd say SGS yes, are one of those teams that just always keep, always manage to keep a level head, understand the situation, and don't let the emotions take the better of them. Even you know, and at times where the game can seem quite hard against the decent teams. Oh, looks like we've got a ready up. All burn. right. Yeah, we had a return Zeon. of Kenix. Uh, I think it was Zeon, actually. Like actually, strange. yes, it was Zeon. You're right. You're right. Okay, yeah. well, we're back. We're live, and that's what matters. I'm going to fly. Actually, I'm going to watch. I'm going to see what uh, defense setup we have for, for Burning Witch Burn, because I feel like um, there's a good chance we're going to be moving on past this objective. So already we're seeing nade spam all over the so place. Yeah, she straight in through bar. Yeah. <laughs> They know exactly what they want to do. And already they're picking up the kills we got. And, and look how they're, they're just taking over Hennessy. They are not worried about pushing in just yet. They want to have full control. Uh, taking their time. Look, here we go. As a team, again, even they've got game taken down. Rio's straight on to site. We've got Zara covering their match shooter, though, but on point. Ooh, can he get doesn't realize that Rio's planting. They have managed to get the bomb down in. Wow. 
40 seconds. Oh, no, 45 seconds there. How much fun dropping? Oh my yeah. god, Boo Leader is on a turret. Hang on, he got off. Okay. He was on a mounted MG. Here come the nades, though, to, to try to keep this charge going. Safe, jumping on. Yeah, great, great distance yeah. fire there. And Xeranox just runs up and gets the kill. <gasps> it's pretty close. 12 I'm not sure seconds. What happened there, but look, yeah, it looks like they're probably gonna get the get the just get the bomb here. Well, here, here comes an engineer. He's got to run into Samurai. I'm he's able to pull sure. him down. It's gonna be close. Oh, he's pulled down just a second before it detonates, and we are on to the next objective. That was quite quick, actually. I'm not sure what um, by much time we were expecting to happen with uh, one engineer, but um, that was their loadout, and they had to pay the price of having only one person that can defuse the bomb. Yeah, that is a bit odd. That was a bit odd, but um, three soldiers, know, one medic. It's like we are literally just not giving, you know, a good goddamn getting that bomb plant straight away. But no bully leader throwing him down there. Great sniper headshot to be able. All right, so our soldier here uh, for SGS, Rio and APOC. I found APOC. He kind of died, though. Let me see if I can find Rio. Oh, there he is. Planting, in fact. I can't... S uh, if you just want to take a little look at the loadouts, I can't say that Burn Witch Burn are really all on the same page here because I can't think one medic, one NG, three soldiers is a good loadout for any situation. Yeah. But, um, I... Oh, and now Xeon is getting They could not authenticate. And at least it's not their engineer. But yeah, they are just not liking this server. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, unfortunately, we couldn't do much about that. Um, and yeah. if Burn Witch Burn having two players which are dropping, I haven't seen any drops from SGS so far. I thought, well, if you're getting about four or five people dropping from a server, then yeah, I would put it towards the server being a fault. But it only looks like two people from Burn Witch Burn. Maybe it's just unlucky. Maybe they're just having bad internet. Now, the happy news is that it looks like we were able to get a defuse. Rio's going to try to plant again, but there's some incoming fire. Not quite sure where. Looks it's like... The uh, blue leaders. Is that not there's a plant. Down, sorry. There we are. We're getting all four. Unfortunately, not five. All four respawning at the same time. Bomb plants down. Team spreading out. APOC playing the advanced position. Nice but nade. Not find anyone. S ATI again playing around the corner. George actually trying to get the spawn place, but can react when needed. Blue leader. Oh, nice nades yeah. again. Yeah, and I'm waiting for that defuse so you can make sure you get that frag. Yeah, any, any and to this, give. So. Yeah, and this is where the one NG um, loadout falls down short. Uh, obviously, I can't think that must be the loadout. They must be having problems with um, preferred classes and people rejoining and getting given the wrong class. Maybe. It's a shame. You think they communicate that though? The bridge has yeah. been detonated, and so now the bot will start its merry way. It looks like the escort's going to be a non engineer medic, in fact. As we get things rolling, command post already being captured by Samurai. I'm going to hop over to him if I can find him. Where is he? I thought Magic were trying to make something happen there coming from behind, but the yeah, SGS is communication just too strong to be able to react to that. <sighs> See if I can find. Oh, Xeon's back in. Yeah. Cannot find Sam Rider for the life of me. Come on. There we go. Oh, he's dead. Great, great. I get to him and then suddenly he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Alright. But yeah, they are going for, straight for that command post. APOC already at the final objective. Looks fact, like he's um, just being 100% sure, making sure they're not getting any cheeky mines, cheeky turrets. Mm -hmm. Up. Mm -hmm. Yep. And since they have that command post, he can actually go off it. It looks like uh, he's going to be put down by Xeon, so I'm glad to see he's back in the game. Yeah, definitely making you straight and back in, not wasting any time there. And um, again, this is uh, this is very much a part of the map where I think Sniper most useful. I think yeah. Shipyard sometimes can be quite useful, but here, the large area, large open area, can just devastate people who get a couple of good connects with that Sniper rifle. All right, so we got ATI trying to take, in fact, that uh, long-range weaponry and see if he can make a dent in... I guess I better go up to the objective, huh? My free fly. Um, trying to get shots from afar to lock... Ooh, whoopsie. Lock the resistance... Um, excuse me, the security in their spawn. Looks like Burn Witch Burn's already collapsed on the objective. Um, yeah, unfortunately... SGS seems to be all over by McBurn at the minute. A few people dotted around the objective trying to um, 
trying to lock it down, but again, not much communication going on, not a great deal nice of, nick. you know, security, I would say, with the fact that they can, you know, secure the objective. I can, I can just say SGS to come in as a five and just overrunning this damage burn set up right now. Yeah, that being said, uh, Samurai just picked up two. Oh, and Zeon goes down again. He's disconnected, so this is a, kind of a sad state of affairs. Indeed. It's just so. unfortunate. And I mean, there's the hack. Mm, oh, the hack got down. I'd say Resort is one of those maps where the second half is ridiculously hard to do. As defense, it's so easy um, to defend this room with mines and turrets, nades and such. And with a decent sniper, you can just lock people down at a far. Um, so it's going to be quite interesting to see SGS take this, especially in an um, ESL championship match. Which I probably won't be able to probably guess we won't see that very often. Alright, so here comes a mad shooter, but uh, then like perfect timing to come rolling around. From behind though, we have Kenex coming in and he does kill off the covert ops. He needs to give him. Oh my god, please give him. Please give he him. He needs to give him, please don't give him. Oh my really? Uh, um Looks like Samurai's running in, he gets one frag, he gets two frags. The mine might do it for them. See, is that mine just sitting there? Rio must know about that mine, he must have communication with Oh, the <laughs> as the medic was about to toss the syringe, that's awesome. So, GG mine? GG uh, mine, okay, fine. Yeah. Although, you know, that actually is a pretty good trap. Yeah, I don't think they planned it that way, but that actually is a pretty effective trap to leave a guy up. Mine, yeah. <laughs> Leave the guy up and, and basically allow uh, Not the match, right? allow the mind to kill off the medic before he revives. Of course, what would have been He's really sad is if is if uh, he had been caught in the um, respawn revive immunity. Yeah, you could. That that would have sucked balls. Out. And we we got a hack going in, so this is pretty much it right here. So I can get over to. Oh, yeah, actually, Mad that. Shooter trying to push in. Uh, they're not able to take down enough. APOC yeah, gets the kill. Yeah, pushing so. in. SGS just constantly keeping the pressure, not letting very much burn, get any sort of hold, you know, defense set up here. 50% hack. Huh? Yeah, not meaning SGS are kind of um, pushing to try and get that hack done. They're just making sure they get the frags, get the control over the area. With oh, two net. guys hacking. Oh, yeah, it's it's going to go hacking. quick now. Let's zoom in, shall we? Oh, it looks like our third person cam just doesn't really show the precision of the hack, but um, you, you, you just have to look at the you have to look at the thing. Oh, and Zion goes down again. Oh, all right. So that'll do it. We're, we're this will probably do it. There might be one more push, but no, they got two people in the hack now. I think they're just trying to push for the final straight. You got Zion up paying the grass there. Making sure he can calls in, defending the two hackers, and it looks like, yeah, ACM yes. really gonna happily hack that computer. box, took now down that gate, and take that black side. box. A quite good ATI card, and don't really want to change a card just for a game. It's quite frustrating, and I think Bash Vantage have fallen short there with the ATI support. Could have done better. Yeah. But it basically means that a good portion of the population has uh, an issue where they're stuck at about 20 FPS. Oh. But we're going live, that's what matters. Uh, I fortunately yes. have a very awesome NVIDIA card and I love it. So, we're going live and uh, I get to play the game at like 90 FPS. It's good times. Um, that being said, uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that I I've gotten this game to run on like an 8800 GT. Oh yeah, that, oh, I remember having one of those back when CSS was brand new. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, and It's like, I think at 256 maybe? You know, 512 meg max card. I, I think it's 56. Yeah. Look at this though. We we have a SGS. Looks like they, um, they've taken a route where they they come under pretty much no fire and they go straight to cover. Um, I actually really like this. They do have to watch their asses though. Potential respawn. One thing, yeah, it's very strong to basically keep yourself hidden and try and get as close as you can without being seen. That is a very strong tactic. But um, one thing you have to be aware that smart teams will know if they can't find you. There's only one place you can be in this map, and that is underground, and that works so against you as an attacking team. Yeah, that, that being said, yeah, two two guys that tried to push up the stairs were taken down. Um, looks looks like maybe by a mine because they're right on top of each other. And oh, there goes Zion oh, again. Oh no! Yeah. 
Sad but true. Sad face, no! Oh, and it's the eye! Getting blindsided by Mad Shooter, very nice. Ted Rio's gonna plant down the box on um on the non-barrel side, we'll A, because A for, you know, B for barrel is A for other. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can speak English. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, Rio, again, just getting the hack, using that, um, using that pillar there for um, cover, while his teammates AGI and APOC cover him. For yeah, I mean, APOC and ATI are doing a fantastic job. A APOC goes down, ATI though is still up. Should be able to get some crossfire kill. In fact, Rio oh. defends himself very nice. Good communication there. Not much he could have done about that. Apoc was down and uh, Zion came from behind. Um, Rio, only one thing he could do, and that was face with his gun. He did, and unfortunately lost the firefight. Yeah, being said though, ATI is still here and he's setting up an offensive turret, and so we got uh, Burn Witch Burn now trying to press in. ATI is still up top taking, in the objective. Taking advantage of this bomb ways to make sure he can get the best, adva best advantage for his team there holding that um, hmm. site. Still there, getting those calls in, getting those little picks in. You where food eater in that um, in the engineer room. And nice nade. Nice, yeah, well, nice nade by well. man, man shooter. Yeah. So burn wish burns retaking uh, the top and center. Question is though, you got the back push, back rage by APOC. He's trying to. Uh, he's able to take down Zion. Looks like wow, Rio and APOC able to take down too. So. They're trying to retake this second level mid ground. Looks like Apox. Yep, coming up around now. Passing Gads. Trying to take down the Mad Shooter. Zeon goes down again, disconnects again. And uh. Apox is still alive. So as soon as he gets a chance here, Samurai is opening up a window for Apox to come in. Perfect move here. Uh, Boo Leader's turret actually is uh, quite the killer. But it's back to say that. Um, SGSR getting into the about 50% mark here. They're looking about 40 right now, so um, not too bad for 16 minutes in. Yeah. Uh, I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting them to, um, you know, storm this a little bit, but uh, can't, can't, you know, can't complain with the longer game. A bit more things going on, a bit more interesting. Indeed. But yeah, this is such a great position here. ATI has uh, pretty much put a flag down in this area quite frankly and he's usually the last one to die because he's using this cover so well great movement around oh my god he even gets Kennex great uh, great, great angle there. there great angle yeah um, those, uh, those using those turbines for cover is so strong he's even replacing his turret there using that time to replant his turret very smart very aware of player again this is one of those things oh look <laughs> even getting slightly um catchy there giving his uh, a block a good shoot because he uh, <laughs> He's that aware of everything that's going on. Exactly. Um, that paranoid. <laughs> that paranoid, yes. Uh, so again, he's even trying to get the bridge up there. So he's just kind of giving his team every gun just can. Why not if you can? You know. This yeah. map isn't easy to hold the sights. Um, I do agree, you know, you need a lot of um a lot of teamwork to get onto that site as an attacking team to be able to hold it from the you know, from the push of the defending team trying to retake. It's not easy. Now, you see what SES is doing? They're pushing all the way out to the to the mounted MG barrels and just holding that down. Oh my god, they, they realized the path that Burn Witch Burn likes to take to get back in here. And, yeah, uh, and Mad Shooter's just laughing much. at it. Because he's like, yeah, yeah. I, I pretty much spawned and died. That was awesome. It's quite frustrating, Mad Shooter. <laughs> frustrating into uh, LOL in chat. Um, yeah, p planting on that side, uh, the non-barrel side, I'm going to call it A side, uh, has its disadvantages, mainly yes. because of the way uh, the defending team respawn. They have this uh, barrel box for cover and they come out and have all this open space to shoot and all these different places they can peek their head. If you follow Xernox now, you can see the other side does has is a bit of a different story. Yes. There's these two paths where they can only come, a lot easier to hold a defending team. And again, on that barrel side, you have those barrels which can help Extreme go onto the top and help you move about. Indeed. System emergency shutdown. Permanent kick. Mad shooters say. Oh no, uh, that's not great. That's not good. I'm a soldier! Alright, so clearly we have a soldier here, Rio. I'm gonna follow him. Let's see if they take hey, the magic back. Leading the front. But then again, just because you're at the front doesn't mean you're going to get there first because you're going to be subject to all those nades. Cads, though, coming up from behind can make something happen, but no, there you go, Rio reacting pretty well, shutting down any chance of him making 
giving us just a problem. And here's Ryu, Ryu with calm. Plant. Calm, cool, which side it is. Plant is down on 1351. This is, uh, I would say, well, I. that's a good question. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, if you have about four people up and the bomb down and you've wiped the defending team, it's gonna be very hard to come back from it. I'll be surprised if Burmish Burn gets to use. Yeah, I'm. Is there anything that sort of demarcates what side you're on? Um, I've tried. Believe me, I've tried. Um, I, I, I know one side has a con <laughs> uh, command post somewhere. Yeah, there are differences in this map. Uh, very subtle differences in like club, what I like to call clutter, and very and differences in one. the general outside. But when you go into the center, it is almost impossible. The only ways to um, who told kind you of to do this? Yes. Figure out which side this is which is to look at the vent inside. There is a vent on only yeah. one side, which is from the defending we team. You can work that out, then I'm sure you can get some kind of to system in. Not to actually do That's it. so ridiculous. What mm. are you I think there's some marking on the outside. I, I saw it. one was labeled B1. I don't know if the other side... World of Warcraft is better. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, not a good is it sound. the Bastion of Twilight? Is that the um, raid instance that everyone's doing these days? I no idea. Well. Wow. <laughs> Rio overall, Soldier APOC, Medic, Xeranox, Engineer ATA, Operative Rio, and most kills APOC shows up again. Very nice. It's like APOC has, um, is definitely on the ball today. Alright, so B1. Done. Watch this other side be labeled B1 as well. I'm gonna be mad. Oh, motherfuck. Come on, dude. Really? Just put, put another texture there. Call it B2. Seriously. <laughs> That's so uh, lame. Like that, that happens with um, aquarium as well. They're both labeled like, you know, R one or something. It's a, is it is it that hard to, to put an extra, you know, number in there? Uh, so this is labeled eighteen. Let's these see little if, details, which um, everyone's looking at all these like barrels and all these amazing kind of neon doors. Ah, and wait, and wait. They don't get the details. They don't. I found I found a difference. Okay, so on one huh? side, yeah. out. Oh shit! Outside the. Uh, Final objective. There's an 18 up on the wall. It's not the entrance to that room, but oh, okay. But it's it's something at the very least that differentiates okay. the two. All right, there's six minute and 54 second time to beat. Um, it's like uh, I'm trying to run the one operative, which uh, is you know it's reasonable in this map, but they haven't got any engineers. They're running the two soldier run up, which so no weapon buffs. Out. So that's no weapon buffs. More kind of than Kevlar now. But uh, they do have those flasher monotops, which um, can cause some disaster. Nice nade spam coming from the defense. APOC. And yeah, uh, nice to the kill. If you are defending on this map, you do need to use those nades and that nade shooting so strong. If you get a call saying, oh, there's one outside B, one outside A, throw a nade Just throw it there. and shoot it, yep. Just throw it and shoot it, and if you get attack, you know what's going on. And we got uh, mines going up in the corridor, the stairwell corridor leading up to the upper level. So it'll be hard to attack from there. We've got uh, Boo Leader going down from afar. Pretty much, I expect this to be, you know, maybe a hack box down by the end of this, but that's about it. Yeah, um, again, it's probably quite good that um, SGS attacks first, because then you can see by the mission time of a deficit, 20 minutes of potential. Well, that, well, that's kind of the whole point, is like you should always have. Each team on yeah. offense. No, I do agree. Everyone, every team needs, every team kind of needs to have their, um, you know, be treated equally. You can't go into a game going, oh well, this team's obviously the better team, so they should attack first. That's completely unfair, and you know, completely derogatory to the other team as well. I mean, it just is. Yeah. It's a, it's, yeah. If anyone did that, I wouldn't. I would have thought they just a complete utter lack of respect. And probably not a nice person. So, <laughs> well, all, 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 I, all I wanted to avoid was like last week we saw one team that was the the lesser team, and they were attacking both times. So we had to sit through quite a bit of. Oh yeah, well, so. I, yeah. Actually, I agree. Yeah, from our point of view as uh, streaming, and from your point of view as uh, watching the stream as a viewer, you obviously don't want to see too much, but you want to see as much interesting things going on as as the same time. So. Obviously, to keep it as equal as possible, it should be so one team attacks uh, first on the first map, and then the other team attacks first on the second map. No other way to do it. Find this operative if I can. Where are you, boo shooter? Boo leader? Oh, boo leader, not boo shooter. 
Mad Shooters, the other guy. I'm just combining Shooter. names now. Mad Shooters. Yes. Anyway, Boo Leader is the operative. We're gonna see if he can get in with his team. Looks like, you know, they are trying to push as a team, but the problem is pushing through a really hefty choke point, and they they are picking the side that has less cover. And oh my god, ATI from behind, able to take down a couple from the uh, far window. Really nice play there. Uh oh, hang on. Gads, Gads just ran to the controls. He's been spotted though. He tosses all of his mates. Everything gets unloaded. And no one comes around the corner. Oh, now here they come. Uh, right in the face. Oh, down uh, he goes. Yeah, they would. This map is quite hard to attack, but I have to give it to um, Six One, who I have who have had pleasure playing against in this map, and I've seen the attack way of attacking on this map. And I have to say, it's one of the strongest ways I've seen uh, what are they to doing? attack this map. What they literally do is they is number one rule: make sure everyone spawns the same way. So there's no two threes and four ones going in. Right. And what they do is, as soon as they spawn, it's one straight line to one site, and as soon as they get to the door of one site in a pool, they spread out. They all know where they're going. They all know, you know, where they're nading, where they're flashing, where they're looking, and it's literally just like one swift movement. And the thing, the great thing about it is, is that the team doesn't have the defending team. Sorry, it doesn't have any time to react. Literally, it's in, and as soon as the calls come through. I mean, if you're in Ventrilo, as soon as the calls come through, they could already be putting down the farm box. The problem with this map is that if you are slow with your attacking, you can be spotted and calls can come out, people can rotate and you can be shut down so easily. Yeah. That's why it works. Yeah. Alrighty. Very nice. So, uh, I don't think we have a hack box down yet, do we? No, we do not. Let's see if we can get in on uh, these Kennex dying, along with Boucher. Yeah, so. You know, the stairwell is kind of remaining somewhat open. Uh, that's the second time I've seen the operative at least get up there, but pretty good yeah, coverage the, otherwise. The, the stairwell, while well, a lot of people feel, oh, it's great, let's go around the back, let's sneak in, it's going to be the it's going to be the best way to get in. Is It can also work against you because people think it's the best way to get in, so they're going to overcompensate there. And then you see people who think that teams are going to overcompensate, so they never go underneath, and then you have teams that realize this and never watch underneath. So it keeps going back and forth like that. So generally, all you ever want is one person dedicated to watching that underground, and he is always there watching it with a mine, always there, and doesn't look anywhere else, and not the best way to counter that. And obviously, if they are all going underneath, then you just fall back, call it, and then at least everyone knows where everyone is. You know? Everyone on your defending team knows where all the attackers are. Yeah, every kill, I think, right there was from SDS, so... Minute 25 left to go, and this one's gonna probably wind down. Um, I would still love to see a hackbox at least go down, maybe a little bit of progress, but SGS is holding on quite firmly. Side like burn, which burn aren't paying, paying it too seriously now. I have seen a couple of nades been thrown in spawn, getting a boo leader killing himself. Boo leader, you know, managed to actually, I think he's AFK in spawn as well, just mm, not exactly great play I'd like to see from a championship, but. I guess, you know, if there's nothing you can feel like there's nothing you can do, then there is nothing you can do. You've already lost at the first hurdle. Yeah. So yeah, Boo Leader is their operative. Oh, no, actually, whoa, we've got three operatives now. Excuse me. Not Hello. a bad tactic. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, oh, are we actually seeing disguises? Oh, my God. Oh, it's like we have someone disguising as ATI I running up right next to Samurai. Hi not there. We need to get him knocked down. Oh, he gets a kill on Samurai, Dude. but they put him. That was hilarious. <laughs> it's something we see in competitive play, obviously in pub play. It's, uh, <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, Samurai having a good kick like that. Oh my god. Yeah, Mad Shooter is just killing his team. Like crazy. Thanks for the game, we noobs. <laughs> Damn it, that was close. Yeah, oh, again, man. Very nice what you've achieved. I think you they just saved I'm not the gonna act. say they didn't try their best, but I was hoping to see more. Indeed. Alrighty. So guys, that's gonna wind it down and uh looks like SGS will be victorious. Uh, very quickly, the awards are as thus. APOC overall soldier, APOC medic, samurai engineer, Rio operative, boo leader, most kills, Rio. Good times. Yeah, Rio taking it there, taking the 
Rhodes top spot off APOC, crash to him. But again, you know, it wasn't a level level match. You can't take those stats as, you know. No, no they're, they're just there for fun. So. Yeah. All right, folks. So thank you for tuning in to Brink TV. I'm going to keep it short and sweet, but uh, I, I want to say thank you. Thank you very, very much uh, to GFN for hopping in. And, it's actually fantastic. A pleasure. Uh, yeah, thank you for being a co-host. It's always nice to have uh, another voice of somewhat reason, right? Um, <laughs> well, we hope. Yeah, yeah. Re reasonable enough, I, th I think, <laughs> if we'll go with. But uh, yeah, so th <laughs> thank you for that. And... Um, Next week, I'm going to be out of town, so I do not know if your heart is going to be able to cast Playday number three, but, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully so. Um, we'll and we see if the ESF men are going to be, you know, yeah. contact us about it. Now, that, that being said, um, this will probably be my last Brink broadcast until uh, the DLC okay. hits, simply because. Um, uh, you know, I'm not around next weekend, and uh, I would hope that it comes out before the weekend after that. So, thanks again, GFN. Have yourselves a good day, folks. I'm out. Thank you. Bye bye.